Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the current state of the Chinese EV industry. While official statements paint a rosy picture, the ground reality tells a different story. With new tariffs imposed by the US and Europe, it's clear that the anticipated Chinese expansion into Western markets is hitting roadblocks. Many companies are at a critical juncture, and it seems that Chinese EV makers have been painting an overly optimistic picture. Here are five reasons why. Reason number five, Li Auto, a mirage of demand. Among the myriad of Chinese EV companies, Li Auto emerged as a beacon of promise. Its advanced technology, robust manufacturing infrastructure, and impressive business plan attracted a significant number of foreign investors, including those from the United States. However, these investors now feel deceived by the Chinese automaker, leading to substantial losses. So what went wrong? Li Auto embarked on a new project, the Li Mega, a futuristic van that was touted to be one of the company's best sellers. Despite its advanced technology, luxury features, an impressive range of over 700 kilometers, or 435 miles, the Li Mega fell short of expectations. The company's claim of high demand was not met, leading to investor disillusionment. As the first quarter of this year concluded, the numbers were at least 22% lower than expected. Despite Li Auto's claim of over 100,000 orders, actual deliveries ranged between 76,000 and 78,000 vehicles. This discrepancy has led to a class action lawsuit from U.S. investors, alleging that Li Auto overstated the demand for its vehicles, particularly the Mega Minivan. The lawsuit claims that Li Auto engaged in securities fraud by overstating not just the demand, but also the efficacy of its operating strategy in launching the Li Mega. The company's inability to meet deliveries further impacted its financial condition negatively. Consequently, the defendant stated that the company's operations and prospects were misleading and or lacked a reasonable basis at all relevant times. Reason number four, BYD, a falling star. The lawsuit we discussed earlier is far from an isolated incident. It's a common strategy for Chinese companies to paint a healthier picture of their business to attract new investors. With the ongoing price war and fierce competition in the domestic market, these companies are in dire need of fresh capital. Even industry leaders like BYD are not immune to these financial challenges. Despite claiming to have outperformed Tesla globally in the last quarter of 2023, BYD's sales took a significant hit in the following quarter. In the first three months of this year, BYD managed to sell no more than 300,000 EVs, a stark contrast to the 526,000 units it claimed to have sold in the previous quarter. The situation is further complicated by BYD's price war in China, which has led to a modest profit of $630 million, a 47% drop compared to the fourth quarter of 2023. BYD's problems don't end there. Despite being China's leading EV company and the world's second largest EV maker, BYD primarily relies on the domestic market, with 95% of its sales in China. With the American administration announcing a 100% tariff on Chinese EVs and Europe, considering new measures to protect its auto industry, BYD's prospects for Western expansion seem bleak. In conclusion, BYD's path is getting narrower with the current slowdown of the domestic market, casting a shadow over its future. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore reason number three, stagnation in major Chinese EV companies. Major Chinese EV manufacturers are no longer accelerating in terms of sales. Instead, we're seeing a plateau mirrored in a significant plunge in share values. Let's take NIO as an example. This company, often hailed as one of the rising stars of Chinese EV makers, has been recalibrating its projections for some time. Back in March, NIO adjusted its expected delivery of 30,000 vehicles for the first quarter of this year, down from the initially planned 33,000 sales. Insiders now suggest that NIO didn't even hit these revised targets. To put things into perspective, NIO delivered 31,041 vehicles in the first quarter of 2023 indicating a significant stagnation. The massive discounts on the Chinese market aren't helping either. The situation becomes even more compelling when you consider that the first quarter sales represent a drastic drop from the last quarter of 2023, when NIO delivered over 50,000 vehicles. The total sales count for the last year was around 160,000 vehicles, and it's clear from today's vantage point that these figures are unlikely to be matched. This limited sales volume 
coupled with reduced prices due to the ongoing price war, has created a perfect storm, resulting in a significant drop in NEO shares. American investors are feeling the pinch too, as the ADRs of NEO have been on a steady decline this year, shedding 43% of their value in the last 12 months. Reason number two, BYD, quality takes a back seat. As we've discussed, BYD, the largest Chinese EV maker, is grappling with its overseas expansion, and it's not just legal hurdles. Like many of its Chinese counterparts, BYD is also wrestling with significant quality issues, which have been flagged by European and Japanese customers. Recent reports indicate that Chinese export vehicles often require several fixes and repairs before reaching their final destination. From scratches cited by Japanese sources to mold issues highlighted by European reports, it's clear that these vehicles haven't been adequately prepared for export, but these issues aren't confined to Western markets. BYD has also faced complaints in Thailand about peeling paint and plastics, and in Israel, there have been reports of BYD cars warping under the weight of roof racks. These problems underscore the need for BYD and other Chinese companies to focus on logistics, as these aren't manufacturing defects per se. Over 10,000 BYD vehicles have been sitting in warehouses across Europe for months, waiting to be sold. It's clear that maintaining tight control across global shipping routes is crucial. Reason number one, the Chinese EV industry, a traffic jam of oversaturation. Recent decisions by North America and Europe to impose higher tariffs on Chinese-made EVs have complicated matters. The growth of the Chinese EV industry was predicated on the assumption that the majority of sales would eventually be in overseas markets. Now it's clear that this won't happen anytime soon. Chinese EV companies are running out of time. Their business models can't sustain much longer due to the limitations of the domestic market. Despite China being the world's second largest population, the production of Chinese EVs significantly exceeds the domestic market's needs. According to Xpeng CEO He Xiaoping, the current capacity of the Chinese EV industry is around 20 million vehicles annually. However, the number of EVs delivered this year is estimated at around 9 million suggesting that Chinese EV makers are currently operating at less than 50% of their capacity. With more than 90 registered EV makers, according to recent data, it's clear that the Chinese EV industry is overcrowded. While the biggest players will likely weather these turbulent times, smaller scale manufacturers probably won't. The top 10 EV makers, including Tesla, hold more than 80% of the market. The rest are vying for a mere one fifth of the market, signaling the start of a long anticipated EV bloodbath. It's just a matter of time before the number of Chinese EV companies dwindles down to a handful. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world of vehicles. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald for the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.